What's up, y'all? It's Shuffle, and today we're doing a special video. So normally when I do the viewer analysis runs, it's something people send me, and then I just go from there. Today, I actually have Bear Taffy's run. So this is the famous worst, darkest dungeon run ever. It's got, you know, almost 800,000 views. And before anyone asks, this is not content theft, okay? I reached out to Bear. I emailed him. He responded very quickly, which was surprising, and he said, I could do this. So thank you very much, Bear, and I hope that... Everyone enjoys this from both our respective communities, and so this is also uh, an interesting video because it's, this is from Early Access, I believe. It is. It says uh, January 31st, 2016. I don't think the game is officially out then. So this is some old Darkest Dungeon, and obviously Bear is much better than this video now at this point. So this is more just an exercise in fun. And I hope that we all get to enjoy it and learn something here. So I don't think he's going to show me all of the quirks and stuff like that, like people usually do. But let's just get started. The blacksmith. So yeah, let's 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 go here. Let's get the ancestors back. Champion wields already terrifying. It's good. It's worth it. This is before Virgo and this is Giant. So really, really hard though. Like it's taking all the food. Be, I don't know. G given the rate of things today. Two stacks how, of torches, that's cutting it close. For me. I, I have no clue at this point how it's going to go down. Probably more well, shovels just, just for the curio and stuff. Smoosh. Yeah. This is well prepared, though. Big investment here. Real big investment. Oh, he's broke. <laughs> it's a party he composition broke. that I am definitely comfortable with, but it's... Probably would have started Hellion in one. Difficulty here inherently. But this is before Duelist, or this is before um, Modern Highwayman. So this is back when Highwayman was kind of weak. Gotta friggin' He's definitely it. weaker than he is now. Let's instead go. of the stupid iteration that we have. Kind of a crappy layout for a dungeon. I mean, this is pretty normal for the wield, though. This is, this is the early access, too, for wield, where... Look at this, all the hallways are the same length. It's not the massive, you know, eight tile hallways from wield with the uh, two okay. like well, the random two hallway good. tiles and also you can you don't see the the curvature Fuck in the uh, the pass anymore that's a tough okay so we're under 75 out. light All so right. if we're trying to not die we should be this is raising this light level we have level four gear too sleep cycles hey welcome man good to see you okay we so we do have the duelist point blank combo honestly in early access this probably is better it. to open with uh Point blank. Actually, I'm going to pause real quick. So, I do this a lot. I apologize. I pause to look at stuff. This is a really good set on Hellion for uh, just general damage and if it bleeds. And then, Dismas here. This is very good for point blank opener. So, these are some good starts. I like this move set here for Hellion. You have some movement just in case. I can't remember if... Um, I think Yop was still a double stun. But it wasn't... Um, it didn't have the limited use. So I think Yacht might have still been better than Breakthrough, especially if we're uh, playing in High Torch. So we did max out the Torch again. This is a weird comp, too. This is a lot of Blight Synergy. So these guys set out marks on these two, and that helps this one. And also it helps the Cultist Brawler. He gets Mark Synergy, so this is a little scary. But we have Bleed Amulet, too. So this is... Like, I, I remember how this ends, in a way. It's been a while since I've seen this video. I wanted to have, like, another reaction to it, but... How does it, like... Go this bad from the start. This is a pretty good setup. Real okay. We need some help here already. Already in a bad way. Be knowing if it bleeds. Okay, I mean, that's also pretty good. The way to go there. We have the split damage, but we did open yet. point blank. Bleed is a good choice. Hold on. We this should be valid. Fun this is always valid. Go there. I don't think I right. Yeah, it's still the yet. same raw, Bleed is ridiculous stat increase. Tough ring on Jester. That's interesting. So that's really not bad. I like Jester. it. I I this is old toughering too. This is before it had the, I think, the damage round. penalty. Offensively, I need to. Focus I know I'm kind of talking over Bear, but I also don't want to make sure I'm getting caught up listening to him. Debuff isn't really that bad. Extra stress damage sort of sucks. Yeah, debuff isn't that bad. You can do it, Bear. Believe in the us that believes in you. I gotta turn down on my end here. <laughs> okay, this is a good first turn. Oh, I need that. I need that strength. I man. think it would have been better still wow. opening crit. Oh, the mark synergy. Yeah. Oh, I. Really oh, did Vestal? Need it. Okay, I saw something. So before I this, Vestal could have. Vestal should, uh, should stun. It, in Vestal the definitely should have stunned this dude. You. <laughs> she didn't. Oh, I need that. I need that. Especially because how much life was he missing? 
This isn't an okay amount, but we stun here. Uh, we heal on turns three and four. We should be stunning on turn wow. one and two. Some big damage. Oh, I really Sometimes the game just decides yeah. it's your time to die. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some help. Yeah, because if Jesus we Christ, dude. Okay, so if we had stunned this dude on turn one, then we could have stunned this turn because we wouldn't have taken 25 damage, especially because Vestal high rolled their speed this turn. So we could have stunned something else. We could have rotated stuns up here or had Yop. Although I do agree with like Iron Swanner if it bleeds uh, against these dudes, probably would have went for rank three because we have the uh, if it bleeds. But let's All see. All right, so if I stack this bleed, he's probably dead. So uh, we should count that damage out. How close is it? Just based on that, even though it didn't he work, missed it. Go, oh boy. man. We right. definitely should have counted this. Just based on that, even though it didn't work, oh boy! Did we battle the first turn? We didn't, right? Let's see. It was Jester's turn. Yeah, it was Harvest two turns back to back. So, we are missing Battle Ballad right now, because if we used Ballad on turn one, we would have went first on turn two against all these guys and just ran them over. Especially with the stun, there would have been so much tempo advantage. Fuck my dick. Let me get back to... <laughs> oh, these two fucking creatures... Can suck my dick. Honestly, <laughs> the second time. Told. Okay, that was good. Double resist. He's not even gonna bleed out from that. Oh, the one hit point. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> the crits. Oh, right this through the bleed the amulet too. Fight. This is unfortunate. What the hell? Like the the plays from Jester. Okay, I like that grape shot. The plays from Jester and Vestal weren't on? as uh, weren't optimal, but like just getting double crit is. Is bad enough. This we gotta so commit, bad. yeah. Okay, please. God, Death on turn one. Her. Oh, don't kill her. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? What the fucking shit? Did he use. Okay, did he use oh, he did use it. Her. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just unfortunate, dude. Death Blow Resist is a myth. It's a myth. Oh my god! It's even funnier what hearing him, because every time I get a viewer run, I don't get to hear the person. So hearing him, like, pull me? away from the mic screaming is good. We have to harvest now, we're just committed. Like, this run's over. This is a retreat. This is like camp twice to ah. lower our stress and then retreat. We should not be pushing further. This run's already a wrap. Ah. Is he gonna keep going? Just, that back one should be dead. I think that's two stacks of blade. It should be enough. It'll be fine, Oh, yeah. Okay, so I don't think... Yeah, we definitely should have been packing either Wicked Slice or Open Vein. I can't remember how they used to work, but I'm pretty sure he used to have those same moves. So, instead of Grape Shot, because Grape Shot and Cleave Spam is just not the uh, the business. Although, I do think this is back when you could use Breakthrough in Rank 1. We'll just go into so, the you wheel. could just Cleave down teams. But the wheel does have a lot of protection, Grab so... We definitely, no, no, have, we definitely should have... We definitely should have had... Open vein or whatever instead of uh, grape shot, just because of the sheer amount of protection the first across all the enemies here. Does what does Duelist Advance do? It just moves. <laughs> There's no repost. Now is Duelist Advance for three rounds. Okay, see that's stun. It's money. This is bad. Like I would probably rearrange this team and put Vessel in rank two. Not quite. And just leave her there. Not quite there, and then I would get rid of uh, Point Blank and then just hope. Point Blank for the win. <laughs> just hope at this point. Minimal damage yet again. How? Fun. This run does not seem like it's gonna get far. Just from this, I know it's a horrific oh failure. My God, man. Yeah. Like it That's matters. fine. Get your stress heal where you can. Jester level three weapon. Oh, it's a little scary. Fucking hell. But I don't think the. Please just kill it. <laughs> Just die. I don't want it. Oh my god. Could you not? How you can't dazzling you from two? Just die. Oh my god, Red Hook, please. How long do you want to stick around and ruin Why my can't life? you do it? God, early access DD was something else, man. No! <laughs> Reinforcements on people that can summon more people with cytokinesis. We have to harvest. We have to harvest. Hold on real quick, sorry. What? Sorry about that. Needed some water, but yeah. So we need to harvest here, and I am starting to think this may not get out of the first room. What the fuck? <laughs> if it does, it won't get past the second battle, that's for sure. We need a chance to, like, change up our trinkets. 
That's just horrible. Like, Helen got double crit into, like, a one-tap death blow. That's... That is unfortunate. It doesn't matter how bad you mess up. Like, you just lose by percentage there. The crit chance is... I don't know, somewhere around 15? 15-ish? And then... You get the double crit. And then she just dies. And gets the, uh... <laughs> yep, they do summon. Then you get the 1 and 3 to die instantly. This is so bad. Like, just... <laughs> Just summon. <laughs> Just gonna spam summon, dude. Yes. I don't remember if the big slime was in the game yet, but oh goodness, these guys aren't that threatening individually. But just the fact that they will summon, like almost on cooldown, I would probably valid. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Just get your damage up. How how can we win this? Then just it's gonna be point blank, and then Vestal moves back and gives you another point blank. So the moment we don't get a move here. There's actually... Oh my goodness. It's like every time they hit, it's a crit too. There is actually a line of play where you point blank the next turn and then Vestal passes. Because you have Jester to stress heal. Pass is only 5 stress and we can't point blank after the, the first time. Like we're out of point blank targets, so we have to not move with Vestal. Oh my hell. Because we can still pass. I like stacking that. And if we're stacking this, we have to pass. It's pass. It's pass, dude. No! Might be distracted by the, the sub notification, but... Yeah, you definitely pass there, just so you can keep using pistol shot after this. Like, that's our only way out of here. Otherwise, Jester has to start doing damage, too. It has to be Harvest. Oh, my goodness. We have all this damage and nothing to do with it! We have all this crit and accuracy, and every time we point blank a corpse, they just get more chance <laughs> to summon dudes. Oh my goodness, Vessel should have been passing, for sure. Alright, they're not critting, but they're hitting pretty hard. Can you not use group heal in rank 2? I think you can back then. I know you can now, but I can't remember if you can back then. But we're still point blanking back into, uh... This is yeah. the entire Because we can't pass with Dismas. Like, only AKA Highwayman. We can't point blank er, or pass with him because he's gonna flex. Yeah, Every we're not getting out of this room, are we? No. It doesn't and look that do way. That, <laughs> Might lose someone else? What the hell is this? The hag! <laughs> I like the voice changer. <laughs> Stream quality. This is for hacking and defeating it's it's not hack. valid. It's harvest. No. <laughs> Tip. It's still oh harvest. Wow. Okay, we can well, do we it from the there. That's a lot of healing. Did Vestal? Oh, it's probably is that level three or level four? Divine comfort. Because she has two healing tip. trinkets. This should be doing like eight. Oh my god! Wow. It's rank we four. Got the correct turn over. Thank you, game. What is it? Is it two to four? Oh my god! Two wow. to four. We got the correct turn over. Oh, Thank, you, game. Thank you. Has it always been two to four? No! They're just gonna keep doing it. So it's point blank. It's no definitely, man, it's point blank, and we didn't get the move, <laughs> so we can't so move bad. back with Vestal. Oh my god! So it's definitely, it's that point blank, and we're just pistol shotting after this. But how do we kill rank 1? We have to duelist once we're down to rank 1. We may not, there's just not enough damage. Like, the way to kill these would be no. some sick, nasty harvest crit right here. It's not over, damn it. It's not Okay, that's over. part of it. I am we don't not get the losing. bleed. Because we need a sick, nasty harvest crit. Sons of bitches. Bleeds on both of them, and then point blank. That's how we get out of this I situation. But we're just stuck. Today. Part of, uh... At least morally old... Speaking. Oh, is this... Wow, that's the double, right? You? Yeah, it oh is! God, oh, no, that's it. Me? That's GG, dude. That's a wrap. That's an actual wrap right now. <laughs> I don't know when it ends, man. <laughs> when does the madness stop? <laughs> His reaction's making this so much better. <laughs> We're just stuck. Okay. Oh People say God. these enemies are easy you know, in the wheel, and they, point, to I'm an extent, they are, but then you get stuck in this situation where they just curiosity. spam summon each other, and you're stuck. How deep does the rabbit hole go? That's it. That's all I care to know. That's all I want to find out. That's all he wants to find out? Okay, because I was wondering, I was like, this is a retreat. This is a retreat, double camp, and then go back to the hamlet. 
Because we're not getting out of here, but he's... He's persevering. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I think I... I think I might have made a big mistake here. Big slime. This one stuns, I think. 16? It's not worth it. I gotta get out of here, man. I'm, I'm not even guaranteed to run. Oh, he's trying to go now? We should have left. Retreat oh, we're stuck. Okay, that's some good news. We have two turns. Oh, wow. God, they just summon on cooldown. What is this? Please. Oh, she's dead, right? Thanks. Okay, no. Okay, maybe, maybe a chance. Okay, we're out, kid. Woo! Is that the end of it? That's the end of it. <laughs> That's just salt in the yeah! wounds, dude. We that is just it. salt in the we're wounds. Win now. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh man. Oh, that's just it, right? Oh, bear. Alright, I'm gonna pause it there. That was a short and sweet video, but thank you, Bear, for letting me do this. It was... It's fun to watch this video. And as far as, like, tactical stuff goes, honestly... There was, like, two things at the start, and then it wasn't even, like, the tactical stuff at that point. It was just the... The sheer RNG of these dudes just summoning themselves, and... Like, the only other thing which... I guess you can't even really 100% foresee, especially in like full light. If this was torchless, you play differently, but in full light, like what do you do? You should have potentially just not used grape shot and maybe got rid of duelist advance because like duelist into point blank, I get it. You know, that's really big damage. Probably wasn't the best setup for the wield. Probably should have had open vein instead of uh, grape shots. And Vestal can't stun out of rank two. Like what the heck is that? You know, because, like, you can nitpick the, the move choices and the first couple turns because that's where he was in full control of stuff. But after that, he just lost control by, like, turn four. And it was just over. And as much as you can set up and plan and stuff like that, if you get crit crit death door, not death door, death blow on, like, the first three hits against one character, like, that's it. You, there's nothing really you can do at that point. It's just the game deciding it's your time to get screwed. That happened to me recently. I had a, I had a highwayman that, what is it? I had my first turn, enemy had their first turn, then the enemy got three turns in the row. And the three turns against my highwayman were a crit, then a hit down to zero HP, and then death blow. And I couldn't do anything about it. So you really can't plan around the fringe like one in four, one in four, into a one in three. It was probably less than that actually because the, the crit chances were so... Like, not dramatically high. You know, it's probably around 15-ish, like I said, for those two hits. So just getting the two 15-ish percentages into uh, the one and three, like, that is some very low odds. And I'm actually going to take one second here. I'm going to double-check the crit rates on these enemies. Okay, so I checked the crit rates, and they were different than I thought. So Ren for the Old Gods is 19%, and Fungal Scratcher, as we see here, is 12%. But that's still around the 15 average between the two of them, so still same general ballpark. I knew it wasn't over 20. And then if you take those two percentages plus the 1 in 3 instant death blow, the chance to lose Hellion in that fashion of crit crit insta kill is 0.75%. So that is massively unlucky, and that's not even factoring factoring in the, uh, the fungal artillery hitting the mark on uh, her first. So, super unfortunate. And that's kind of what happens in Darkest Dungeon. If you get some, like, streak of unlucky things, that's how people usually die. It has to be some, like, 5% or less chance outside of you just doing something really bad. I don't think Bear did anything bad at that point. You know, obviously the moves were questionable, but that's after the fact. So having crit crit insta-kill <laughs> with that low percentage is terrible. And then obviously the reinforcements coming in and just summoning themselves endlessly was was funny enough and that was just literally the first fight uh, so that's it's unfortunate it's hilarious and obviously bear took like a champ so thank you to bear for letting me do this thanks to his community for just being awesome and then i guess that's it for me you know my stuff's here obviously i'm not gonna plug myself at the end of the video and i guess i will wrap it up i'll see you later